Hi, this is Aaron Reed, Systems Engineer here at Verge.io, and today I'm going to take you through an upgrade to upgrade a two-node Verge.io cluster. So first thing we'll do is we'll log in. That lets me into my system. Here you can see I'm on my read cloud. I have six virtual machines. I don't have any tenants up and running. I have three out of nine networks that are turned on one cluster and again with two nodes so um, before I start my upgrade I'm gonna bring it up again here and I'm gonna come back here to another tab and I'm gonna go into system now this is the process that starts the upgrade so I'll go into system come down here to updates now here you can see a new minor version is available on a different branch to change this branch click the change branch menu so what that means is I have my upgrade settings if I go into my settings and I have it auto check for updates. If I didn't have auto check for updates, I would just have to check the updates button. So if I come back here, I would check for updates. And then that would pop up that banner if it saw a new branch. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna change the branch. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on change branch. Are you sure you wanna change the newest branch of the system? Yes. And now down here on the screen, you can see my mouse um, clicking over the highlights. It says 4.92 can go to 4.10.2, uh, um, and that's on our YB, our YB Help, and our YB OS. And then if you look over here, you can see the uh, the branch stable 4.9. We're going to upgrade it to 4.10.2. Verge IO Cloud Software Stack integrated help and documentation, and then Verge IO Operating Systems. So then the next thing I'm going to do is now that I've basically um, checked the branch. In and brought it down is I can download the branch here. So I'm going to go ahead and download. Are you sure you want to download all the updates on the system? Yes. Here you can see our circle, um, our, our spinning time circle refreshing. Now it says downloading and then it's retrieving those three files in the list showed right down here in the list below. Once the download's ready, um, it should allow us to go right into install to start the upgrade. So now here you can see that my download has been completed. I have the, uh, the little floppy disk icon, which I love, brings you way back old school, um, but the download's completed. And now we can install the environment. So with a two node cluster, what it'll do is it'll basically start with the first node and then it'll walk to the And after it um, puts the first node in maintenance mode, moves the VMs off the first node, it'll update the first node. And then once the first node is updated and rebooted, it'll bring the VMs back onto the first node and then it'll go to the second node. Totally updated process. The other nice thing about this is right now we're updating not just the hypervisor, KVM and QMU, but we're updating the management um, console that you see here, or dashboard. We're also updating our vSAN and all the services with inside of the environment. So one simple, single update to do. So I'm gonna go ahead and click install. Are you sure you want to install the updates on this system? Yes. And now it says installing installing package.json see idle reboot required verge io updates so that was fairly quick so we're going to go ahead and get reboot or do a reboot and here you can see it says putting node one in maintenance mode that's what i was just talking about earlier where we'll actually take the the node and put it in maintenance mode now if i go to a different tab here you can see i have a vm that's up and running um, if I go into my read clouds, I go in my nodes, here you can see node 1 is migrating. That means it's migrating all the VMs off of node 1 onto node 2. If I go onto node 2, or I go back to my, let's go back to my virtual machines, and I look at my list of virtual machines, now I can see that all my virtual machines are on node 2 except for this last one, and that last one just changed over, or the first one on my list. And here you can see, if I go back here, I can see applying, putting node one into maintenance mode. So it's still going through its maintenance mode process. Let's go ahead and refresh. Oh, it refreshed it for me automatically. I go into my Windows console and that's that Windows 2019. You can see there's been no reboots. I can bring up my browser. I've got full access to everything in the environment. There you go. And then I come back here where my update's actually running. And here it says putting node one in maintenance mode again, it's still applying that. If I click down to my nodes, it says node one is stopped. So it's literally switched everything over to node two. I'm still in my, my um, 
my management console access or my management dashboard. So that hasn't gone down. And here you can see applying, waiting for node one to come out of maintenance mode. So it's applying the update now, and it's basically gonna wait for the node one to come out of maintenance mode. Once node one comes out of maintenance mode, it should take all the VMs from node two and move them over to node one. So they can now take node two and upgrade node two. And here you can see down here, we're still on version 4.92. Obviously this one says 4.12 or 10.2 now. Um, but the main version, for the browser is 4.92 and we've actually updated some of the UI in the environment so some of the colors and logos should change as we go through this upgrade. If I click on read cloud here, here I can see now that I have two over two nodes meaning that both my nodes would be, be online but it looks like one is still leaving maintenance mode. Um, like I said before when you do the reboot on one of the server systems as you all probably know it can take a while to have that done. So now node one is uh, up and running, so it should be fully functional now. That means all the, the cluster services should be back on node one. And um, here you can see right below that, that migrating, so node two, we're now migrating the VMs off of node two onto node one so that we can apply um, the update to node two. And to do that, if we just click here on node one to verify that, if I come here, I can see drives, NICs, memory modules, the running services I have, and then the running virtual machines. I can also verify that by just going to back to my cloud, going to my machines, clicking on my virtual machines, and now it shows that all my virtual machines are on node one. And I can take that a step further to see how my virtual machines are doing. I can go into my first virtual machine, bring up the console, and again, as you can see, nothing is offline, everything's up and running. And I'm going right into my browser here, bringing up our website, Verge IO, good stuff. Let's go back to our read cloud. Let's check on our update. So here you can see it's the, the um, update message has changed for the status message, applying, waiting for node two to come out of maintenance mode. Again, this can take a while depending on how long it takes for node two to reboot. Now that it's, it's migrated all the VMs. Here you can see the status in the logs down towards the bottom of the frame here where my mouse is. And then we'll just go ahead and give this a few minutes to go through its process, and then we'll come back to it. Aha! Uh -huh. Another thing to mention during the upgrade process is now that the first node, the first controller is upgraded and everything's been moved back to it, you can see the new updates um, from 4.9.2 uh, to 4.10.2. Here we have the new Verge IO logo. We have the new color schema with a dark gray um, background or charcoal um, title. For our tiles and then if you highlight over the tiles in the left hand menu bar here you can see the colors have changed as well so there you go um, node one has already updated the service has already been rebooted and we're in newer system now we're just waiting for the other node two to to go through its process and then all over here to verify it down at the bottom left you can see version 4.10.2 as well as you can see here all of my versions have changed to 4.10.2 Looks like we have one update on the update where it says it's idle. I believe at this point it has been completed. Let's double check though. We'll go to here. Yep, we'll go to two nodes. We have both my nodes up and running now. And then if I go back to my read cloud tab here, and then I can go into my VMs, virtual machines, virtual machines here. Here the cool thing is now I can see all six of my virtual machines again, and I have them load balanced across nodes one, and then nodes two, right here, right? So basically what we did is we downloaded the, um, the latest batch file for the update. We applied or installed the update and that kicked off the nodes in the cluster to go into maintenance mode, which they automatically did. And as part of the maintenance mode process, they moved VMs off of that node when it was getting upgraded. And then once the node was back online, they moved the VMs back on and did the same process for the second node. And that's it, we basically just, went through the upgrade process of uh, upgrading a Verge IO cluster. All good to go. Uh, but thanks for, for joining, and we'll see you on the next one.